Back on the line, another heavy battle here. Noduko to have to take on Joe Hutanji. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one because Joe Hutanji, while he would have come into this with massive amounts of ranking ahead of Noda Kodua, and also, you know, he's an ex, you know, European champion and all that good stuff, still learning this car, but however, putting in some very good qualifying runs. First time we really saw Joe Hutanji's potential in this car was qualifying today. Noda Kodua is a very capable driver from Georgia, a very aggressive driver, and he's already up for this. He's left the line, and the lead car has knocked over the cone. Will this be a false start, or will it be a goer? It's a goer. It certainly is a goer. Look at that little flick, little waver across the track. It's Hutanji fires in that BMW. No Dakota goes through the smoke, looks for the side of that BMW wheel up on the curb. Shallows up the angle as Hutanji fires it in. You can see steering corrections though. Hutanji goes for outside zone five. That opens the door and the door is open as Kodua gets onto the side of that GA2 BMW. Waits, jumps and pounces back on the side. Good run from both lead and chase there. I mean, these are two guys starting out very comfortable with their machinery on this circuit. And while it wasn't an exceptional lead or an exceptional chase, they're both still in the fight. Yeah, take a look back at the replay of this, and you can see Mutanji just falls out and back in of the outside zone one, not the cleanest of leads to this point. And then starts making a few choice mistakes, it leaves it early, gets to outside zone two a little bit early. No Dakota gets a wheel up onto the curb, waits for the opportunity to make the dive for some Proximity, and you can see there, Hutanji sacrificing a lot of the track there on outside zone four. Kodua, though, shortcutting the track once again, now makes a dive, positions himself perfectly. Gets himself a little bit scared, though, jumps on the foot brake, slows down, then says, nope, we're all good, yeah, still safe, let's get into it again. Settled himself and said, no, no we're okay. <laughs> had, a, had a moment. Scared himself massively, yeah. That was a big dive, to be fair. And look, we've seen Bagsy make contact there. We've seen a few, few guys make contact there. Well, uh, I mean, the biggest impacts this weekend are coming from that deceleration zone because, yeah. you know, the chase car has to sort of predict how much slowing the lead car is going to do. Is he going to do it at the start? Is he going to do it gradually through the decel zone? Or is he going to do it right at the end? You've got to react to that. And I think Nodo Koju, I was kind of thinking, I don't want to end up in the wall here because <laughs> I don't I'm pretty sure... I don't want to crash into the shiny yeah. new BMW either. Yeah, That'll definitely be my fault. <laughs> everyone will be like, that was your fault. You did that. Yeah, remember those really nice shiny BMWs came? You were the guy. Yeah, no, the Kodio ruined them. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go into the lead position. He doesn't have to worry about it now. He's in the lead no. position. He's going to try and uh, use all the legs in that little BMW. He's got a thousand more power. He's got a lot of power. Very lightweight shot. I think Joe Kodio's going to have a struggle to keep up with him here. Yeah, come through. He's cut, look, he's to put a no gap here as Joe Dungey initiates very early and very shallow to try and stay with Noda Kodua. Oh. And Kodua off the track. Oh, Kodua has put big angle on it. He's having to shallow it back up again. And that upsets Joe Hutanji. This lead not as clean as what we'd expect. Hutanji now starts to get himself back into the fight. Kodua transitions into outside zone six. That opens the door. Look at that. Hutanji. Oh, goes for it. Stalls up. Finds himself on the inside edge of the circuit. I'm not sure, Dave. Scrappy. Very scrappy. I thought, you know, it might lean towards Joe who told you until that last corner, he makes a big error, he dives right across the track. Um, and it was kind of a jerky motion. It wasn't a fluid chase. There was a lot of kind of ins and outs. I know, let me have a look at this replay. Look at this. He goes off the track. There's definitely one wheel. Is it two wheels off the track? It's close for the judges to decide. And then the transition back is too much angle. He kind of, this is, you know, not really what the judges were. And there's a little bit of contact there. I didn't notice oh, that yeah. the first time. A little bit of a nudge from Joe who told you that's, that's why he ends up on the inside of the track. So I was wondering that. And then as they come back down here, you can see now Joe Tony starts to back off a little bit, saying, I don't want to make another piece of contact because here will be my fault. He throws it in, but he's on a very shallow line. Yeah, I'm not sure. Look at this. You can see the transition back. No, Dakota, we're looking strong. It's really starting to grow into the role here at Triftmasters European Championship. And a few mistakes creeping into his lead, but. It's going to be a difficult one to judge, Dave. It is. Just here. Have a look at the contact, yeah. Huh. I... A bit of a straight line from Joe Tundi there. He doesn't yeah. transition very fluidly. He's playing a little bit of catch-up from that point on. So, you know what? I don't know. This could go either way. I wonder if we'll see it one more time just to uh, try and get a clean battle, a clean lead and chase out of these guys. Yeah, you know what, there was enough big mistakes there that yeah, something that might have stood out to the judges as the biggest mistake. I mean, I think they'll look at Kojua, did he put two wheels off the track on the first corner? They'll look at the contact uh, from Joe, don't even say was he at fault for that. Looks, you know, like Kojua was on big angle, but I don't think either of those guys know. They definitely do not know. Because he could do it, and, and Joe Hutunji definitely aren't confident of who's won this one. No, no, neither guy has the look on their faces if to say, well, that was easy for me. 
the international <laughs> symbols for these drivers of, you know, I went this way, you went that way, then I did a thing with the steering wheel, then I went the other way with the steering wheel, you and then, you, and then yeah. you hit me, and then who knows? Right, well, they don't have to decide it. We can see it from the judges who's going through, and it will be Joe Hutonji going through to his first top 16. Impressive.